All right. Loading. Same type of thing with that one. Yeah. Run head. You got bracket. There you go. Now your hand placement is going to be the same as the other one. Uh, you just keep your hands just a little bit. Your thumbs a little bit lower there because you got that front, that slide is right. a little bit more protrusive. Yeah, because you, you underloaded it. Yep. You good? Oh, yeah. Alright, one round off for the, the, the sleep back forward. There you go. I'm happy with that target at least. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm getting good. better. Looks good. Well done. <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, that's just what it takes. It just takes getting used to it. That actually is quite pleasant to use. Because I always have a vision of them being really unwieldy and big. No, 1911s are, are good. good. What, I mean, what like did you said, shoot at, dude? That bottom cross. All right, Nazi cross, I take, I call it. <laughs> no, that's my one. <laughs> Like I was telling him, th their thumb placement is a big thing with the 1911. Uh, you usually end up with your shooting hand thumb kind of high mm -hmm. because the way you would train with it would be your thumb riding on your safety. To keep that oh, right. there. Like and that. that gives you a lot of room there for the rest of your hand. But okay. you know, you're, most likely you're going to be dealing with a striker fired instead of something like a 1911. So, For our purposes, you just want to keep your thumbs off the slide. You got it, you're good. Tell you what you can do. Pull the hammer back. All right. Try again. Uh, all right. Here you go. Like, get your thumb on top of your safety there, because you got your your safety up in the way. There you go. That was near bullseye. Yeah. <laughs> That's a 1911 for you. It's which target honestly. you aiming at? So. Yeah, that one over there. <laughs> <laughs> that was lucky. Grab that and maybe put another one up. Or? I think no I've got one with the slide back. Sorry? 